Hey everybody, Jackie Tinker here with the Arcadia Ranch and the Instinctive Australian Shepherd podcast and the Working Aussie Source. All of my Working Aussie resources in one. Good to see you today. I uh, finally have some sunshine and blue skies and I'm so excited about that. It's warm now. Feels like spring, almost summer. I asked uh, for the temperature the thermostat to be put up a little bit, but it's, it's a little warmer today. Anyway, <laughs> I've had a lot of people recently ask me about my setup what I like about it, what I would do differently, and what I'm actually doing. So I'm going to go through this kind of, um, I'll go through it as functional and also as if you're putting on a trial, a farm trial or an arena trial, because that's what a lot of people are asking about. I'm mostly trial in ASCA, the Australian Shepherd Club of America, but this year I will be expanding outward from that a lot to include HBA, MSSA, Texas Sheepdog Association, all kinds of different trials. I'm really excited about this fall because we're going to be doing a lot of really cool things here at the ranch. And so if you could join us, uh, it would be awesome because we do things that are challenging. We take our dogs outside of the arena and um, everything is bigger here in Texas, including our arena and the fields and things we're going to be competing in because we want our dogs to be better. The limitations are in our minds, not our dogs' minds. So we have to think about that. And so let's start with the arena. This is the arena. Um, it is 200 feet by 300 feet. I could put two 150 by 200 uh, foot Aska, which I can't even imagine. I, it's so tiny to me, but it's not even, that's, that's bigger than minimum size. Put two arenas in here if I split it down the middle if I had to. I hope I never have to because I love this arena. There is a huge uh, piece of misinformation. People like, and I know when I first started trialing, I did the same thing. I liked a small arena because it was less intimidating. My dog couldn't get that far away from me. But really, it is much harder to trial in a smaller arena than it is in a bigger arena. Unless your dog is flat out out of control. Um, because you have more room to fix mistakes in a bigger arena than you do in a small arena. And I'll stop with that right there. That's another day. Here's the tape pen. My tape pen is as big as I possibly could. The rules in ASCA currently say that uh, 30 by 30, but it's not really set in stone that that's the maximum, but it can be flexible. Um, so mine's, I think, 25 by 30-ish, and I also use it as a training pen as well. Some of the, the one thing I, I don't know if I would change it or, or the one thing I've had complaints about, let's put it that way, is that this gate right here is in the corner of the arena, okay? And it opens down the far corner. So you open it out. It doesn't open in anymore because it used to open in because I had it all graded out, but we live on a hill and everything goes down the hill, so it's all pretty much filled in again. And so uh, it opens out. It'll uh, uh, open out and stay out. But you have to be careful not to get your sheep caught up behind it. And I think it's just a handling thing. Once you figure it out, it's not that hard. But it is the one thing I've had a few complaints about. However, I just say train your dog and train yourself because it's a challenge. I think avoiding challenges and making things so easy that it's it's too easy. That is not fair to our dogs. It's not giving them the chance that they need. And it's not, it's not pushing us as handlers. So, um, but that, I don't know that I would change it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I have seven pens. This pen is not super functional right now because it is, it has as functional as a pen for a trial because it has this uh, shoot in here, which is coming out. I'm actually going to put the shoot on the outside. I'm getting a new one. Um, that'll be easier for me to work my animals with and put it on the outside. So I'll actually have this shoot available, this pen available. Um, this is part, these, all these pens are 12 by 16, 16 foot cattle panels. And I use temporary, I did not pipe fence this on purpose because I wanted to make sure I liked whatever layout I have. And I'm so glad I didn't pipe fence it on purpose because there are some things I've been able to do with it to shift it up a little bit that have made my life so much easier. So they're 12 feet by 16 feet, and I wouldn't go any smaller than that because um, I can put, depending on how the size of the cattle, you can put three to five head very easily in here, and they're not uncomfortable, and you can get a dog in safely, um, except for that there's no way for dogs to escape if you have cattle in here. So with wild cattle, I probably, you know, that's a safety issue. you got to consider what you're going to do with that. I have this pen right here has an entrance gate on the back, and on the front and this is what i consider the front they're 12 foot gates i just got from trash supply these are wooden posts that are sunk in i don't think we concreted it because our ground is like concrete here 
However, the ground shifts, and this is a problem um, here because my ground shifts so much that it was this pen. Yeah, this pen, when we had the drought last summer, had a 12 inch gap right here. I'm not kidding you. It, it, it's The post is still crooked, but it's lined up a lot better. Um, 12 inch gap, I had to put a piece of uh, wire a panel in here to keep my goats and sheep in here. Uh, I usually don't have pans and stuff in all my pens except for the pink buckets or water buckets for animals that are in here um, and they're tied to the fence over there. And these are just because I had lambing and kidding going on so um, this is why there's feed pans and buckets and all these because I use them for lambing jugs because it's nice. It was nice out. This particular one, in order to get out and walk through, you have to go into the chute. This is actually made for my sorting chute, which I'll show you later on in the video. But I, if you have pens, a lot of pens like this, I would recommend multiple ways to get in from all directions. This is why this pen has two gates, one in the front, one in the back. And this pen over here has a front and a gate, 12 foot gate in and out. And then this actual is my starting training pen. It's 16 by 20 and has a four foot gate out there. We were loading cattle with our temporary cattle chute. You can see that the cows kind of pushed it around today. Um, I don't have a full on cattle sh loading chute situation here, which is something that we're working on. It's one of our goals. We've only been here for a couple of years. And so we're taking these things slowly, but surely. And I also want to really think about what I want. So when I put it up, I don't have to put it up again, but this is usually open and I just pop the T post in and out whenever I need to load cattle. It usually works pretty well. Okay. This is my training. I call this my training pen because that's just what I decided to call it. It's 50 by 70. Uh, and then I have my water, my, my water buckets over there, which is, uh, kind of float valve and on demand water. And then you can see the pastures out there. And then, then it attaches to my arena. My arenas have gates down on either end, 16 foot drive gates. So we can drive all the way across, which is super convenient if I need to get down there. On the other side of this wall, this is a 300 foot, the 300 foot fence of the arena there is actually another alley that is just for cattle basically it's just a uh, cattle fence along the side and then um there's another gate going outside of that arena so it makes a little trap up at the end so i can use this side of the arena over here is where i use set my on the outside of that gate that brown gate over there i set uh, i have my um it's still set up post advanced tape pin and repin right there because my post advance field is out there okay on the other side of the arena all right so that's kind of all set up so that i can handle all my stock uh and i can go in here and show you this is also where i feed in my training pen i feed and you can see the remnants of the bales from the drought we had defeat a lot of hay because there was no green for the last year um all right so i feed and water in here this is my water i think it's turned off right now over here behind this tree i also have a 40 by 40 ish pen that was here when i got here it's a wooden pen and um i really like it it has cattle panel and stuff in it so the sheep and my rams go in here at night and uh, it's a really nice training pen and no that cattle chute does not work because you're like hey there's cattle chute there and you said you didn't have one i'm like nope i sure don't have one to go out through here uh, 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 uh. stay stay to go take groundwork cows all right and then i have this alley so this alley i use for my farm trials it is really has no use except for my farm trials or you know for me to get in and out of here if i have a bunch of stock in here and i don't want to deal with it i can walk in and out to my pasture right here but i use that in this particular gate here this is just the thing you got to do you got to just be creative about stuff so this gate stay, stay opens and makes a alleyway here so they can come down here no stop it you guys and go in here and we just uh just have a rope chain tie to tie it when we're doing farm trials so that is a creative way no we're not working cows sorry i know you want to <laughs> all right so we're gonna walk down to the 
sorting chute. That is my uh, kind of the walkthrough of my arena panels and, and pens. So if you're doing a farm trial, we do our farm trials out that way because you can see with the chute here I just set out. Um, they drive to a bucket or something with hay or a pile of feed or a mark spot out there and they come back. You can actually, if you really look, I have an agility behind the cows rear out there one of my i use an agility jump that i bought a long time ago or a panel back there not a part of a jump it's like the side of it to use for marking my farm trial setouts but i do my farm trial setouts that way back there i'm gonna have somebody on a four-wheeler who just goes back really really far if they lose their cows my seven for the arena trials uh the seven pens that i showed you um that is that can hold uh, seven sets of livestock. So if you're doing your arena trials and or your farm trials or however you want to do it, each set can run four times. So that's 28 runs, you know, 14 a.m., 14 p.m., or 28 in one day, whatever you want to do. Um, that gives you a lot of flexibility. And I have a lot of equipment. I keep our, we keep our farm equipment along here so we don't have spectators here on the back as much. I don't really have a problem with people being jerks at my trials. I just have really great people that come to my trials. Um, so I don't really worry about stuff like that. The only negative, another negative of my place, and it's not really anything I can do unless I just set up a, uh, like bleachers or something, is that, I don't know if you can see, but it goes downhill. And this is pretty much where all the spectators sit because they can go in the walk gate for their arena. And I have the, you know, their run orders posted over here usually and that's just how they get in my judges will sit over kind of where the round bells are there or on this side up here on top of the hill so they can see if they're down here by the round bells it's harder to see because like everything's on a hill and it really is affected you can see the curvature of the earth in my arena okay so let's talk let's see i think i covered everything about arenas and pens and stuff like that let me talk to you about my sorting machine so i call it my sorting machine um sorting is a big problem uh with my sheep when you have i have dorper crosses and i have barbados i have registered barbados black bellies and do, sheep that are worked a lot get very um pushy at the gates for sorting and so i think it's safer my dogs know how to come around and slow them down but a lot of dogs don't and i think it's just so much safer and asker requires a, a gate sort um so i have a lot of people that are either older or um new and they sorting is really hard for people it's hard enough when you have all the right tools to be watching which livestock you're supposed to be getting or not getting so anyway i created the sorting machine also for me because i sort a lot i sort every time i have trials every time i have lessons every time i have you know camps and stuff up here we're sorting livestock all the time uh and so i created the sorting machine and here it is this it starts with this pen right here the alleyway that we were walking in earlier it's a 12 foot alleyway i don't know if i mentioned that or not it's a 12 foot alleyway these 12 foot gates can swing out and hook on the fence over there to um block off sections of the alley and, I, and one of the things that i don't have set up properly is they don't block the fence exactly if i were to do this in pipe fence i would have pipe fences here and they would be directly across from their pipe with a hole to hook the fence in so that it would be very firm because they can push through the fences and it, it's not a huge deal because i have the dog and everything but it's something okay so they start in here for the sorting machine it latches over there i put the dog in i put the sheep in here and i put the dog in here and i can get a lot of sheep in here right now i can't because i have all the babies but uh for the most part it just runs in two sets but i just want to run one set through and then a second set through oh i forgot to set one of my gates over there i gotta go back and set it so the dog goes in here i leave them in there I'm um, usually on, <laughs> when I start, I'm on that side because obviously you have to put the dog in there, but I forgot to set my gate or else the wind blew it open. The wind is really strong today. Okay. So the dog is in there and I come down here, down the alleyway, and I set this gate and I just use, like I was saying here, this doesn't set exactly across and I just use a bungee cord, but my, it's fine because I have my, uh, my gate sit there, the sheep are locked in there with the dog, so if a sheep gets up in here and busts, you know, past this, it's fine because I can just gather up. 
that usually uh, I'm not going to open it now because the way this gate is open into the arena or to the um, tape pen, so they are, have plenty of room to go in there and drift out because they're coming out here into for sorting. Now, if I'm going to use this for um, doctoring, when they come down here, I have this box gate that I can shut like that, and then this gate shuts in, this panel shuts in here and creates an alley. Now this is a temporary one, it doesn't work because it's too short. So I had to use this one when I got my new panels in. I'm going to actually be moving this out of here so that's kind of irrelevant. But this um, box gate is good for stopping stock because when I'm working down here in this area, my dog is in where that purple tub is. Uh, holding the sheep and bringing them down. The guillotine is lifted up so the sheep just come in down here and so I can control their flow with this particular gate. That's why there's a second gate here. It's for when I'm working the chute. And this whole section here is actually going to be outside this gate uh, when I get my new sorting situation. And then I shut my walkthrough gate. Now this walkthrough gate I use all the time and it's perfect. We added a walkthrough gate here, and I'm not exactly sure why. <laughs> but we put it here thinking we might use it, and we don't. So it's not necessary. This walkthrough gate is not necessary. So when I was looking at planning for a race and for sorting, I was looking at all kinds of setups on the internet. And if you look at the internet, you're not going to see anything like this, because I haven't seen anything like this. You'll see them come out and make a big circle and then go back in. So I looked at that, but then there's this waste space in the middle and it comes way out here and I don't have that kind of space. That is more for wild sheep who aren't handled by dogs and then there's this whole thing about them walking in a circle, it's easier and if they can't see where they're going, they're not afraid or something like that. Well, I don't have that problem with my sheep because they trust everything we're doing and they go through this no problem. Even my wild barbados go through here without any issues at all. I so the sheep are in here with the dog. We'll talk to you about the what I have out here. These I got from Premier One. These are two separate panels. This is a solid panel and this is one with a gate. Before, when I was testing this, my version one, I had a cattle panel along here. And I would have kept the cattle panel except for two things. Number one, when they come in here, they come in here, they tend to get balled up here and they lean they lean this way so their feet are coming this way and occasionally you'll see feet sticking out and I didn't want anyone to get hurt. So, um, Copper's actually learned to control this here so it doesn't ball up here. He's really good about bringing a small group and then going back and getting another small group and kind of taking them in a lot calmer in here. Um, the other thing, the reason I went with this is because there's a gate on here. I can open this gate from outside. Oops. And I can call my dog through here. So I can clear the sheep out of the way. If my sheep gets stuck up down here and bottled up down there, I can call him out of here and have him run the sheep down there and chase him through and then come back in and do his job. Um, I've only used it a couple times for that reason because my sheep pretty much know the deal, but sometimes, you know, they just don't want to do it. Especially if it's on like the third time through. So I can sort... Uh, two groups at a time, but sometimes I have three groups to sort, so I have to put them through twice. Um, and if I miss something accidentally, I might have to put them through again. <laughs> okay. So the sheep have plenty of room in here, and it could even probably be narrower. I have some really wide sheep, and I have some really small sheep. So here's the guillotine, and this guillotine is for me, and this is where I stand right here. So I will control the flow of the stock. You know, if I start when I start, I'll call. Usually, a few sheep have already put themselves in here. Sometimes they haven't. I'll have Copper walk up and bring him in here. He knows the job. I don't have to ever tell him or Ranger how to do this. Usually, they're really good about it. So then the sheep come through here, and I can slow them down. If for some reason my gate gets jammed or they get jammed up here, which is the most common thing, what they do is they come wandering out here very slowly, and then they. Well, that's open usually. Probably to open that or I'll flick it. Uh, that's open when I'm sorting. And then they'll come and get stuck right there. They'll sort of stand there like, eh, now what? And that gate, like I said, is usually, is open when I'm doing this for real. Uh, I just close it because the wind is really strong. I don't want to pop the fence off the, the gate, which is what happened up there. Um, and they drift into the, they just drift into that tank bin. No problem. Okay, so then I have my sorting situation. So if I'm actually sorting groups out, I have this gate, which is also from Premier One, and it's their sort gate. It's kind of a triangle shape, and it's flexible. You can make it as narrow or wide as you 
can here. And this is the only thing I really hate about it. It has this little hook thing. So I can lock it it's technically. See, it's not super easy. Lock it right here and then they can't push it out, right? The problem is sometimes even when it's down here, it'll get stuck like this and I'll miss a sort coming through here. <laughs> and then I have to resort again. So it's super important that I wear gloves when I'm doing this and I just keep it up like this if I can or like this so then I can sort it like that. And they just come in and, and they're pretty good. And you can open just a little bit to squeeze one through and um, it's really a nice tool. I love it. I use it all the time. All right, so then my panels, I had a friend make them. They're made out of pipe. They're three feet by, I believe, three feet. And they're held together by these. Now, in my ne neck of the world, in th this country with this land, I can do this. This works really well. They're firm. They, they give to the sheep uh, when they need to, but they don't fall out. And if I need to get somewhere, like if something happened to one fell down or I need to get in there, all I need to do is pop this up and it's free. Um, I haven't had anything bad happen and I haven't had to get in here. I think that's why we put this gate in here was to be able to access it if something happened. Um, however, I, I have these set up this way. And this is actually one of my panels that was down there. I had to use an extra one when I got all these and reshifted. So that's my race and it works really well. My new plan is going to be all the, that right there is just actually going to be curved out to here so I can uh, I will have a pad and be able to work my sheep out here. I'll add an extra pen down here for my, for my new um, tilt table. I'll be out in this area rather than in there taking up that space. It's probably what's going to happen. So you won't see many races like this, but it's super convenient. It doesn't take up much space. It's very tight, tight on the fence and only takes up an extra couple of feet in my situation. And it works out really, really nicely. Um, for how I just love working and all I should I'll make a video of actually uh, it working one of these days um, when I get someone to hold the camera for me uh, but anyway if you have any other questions I think that's all that I have on that uh, let me know